So today I got Galaxy S10 Plus and I was getting a message that how to get rid of this warning screen. It appears always as we restart the phone or as we power on the phone because the bootloader is unlocked for having a custom ROM. Right now I got Lean H ROM on my mobile phone and custom ROM need and unlock bootloader to boot on the mobile phone and the bootloader will remain unlocked as far you are using a custom ROM. That is why the warning screen will appears every time if we restart the phone or if we power on the phone. To get rid of that warning screen, what exactly we have to do? First, first of all, let me show the warning screen. Like I just restart my phone. This phone bootloader is unlocked and its software integrity can be verified etc etc press power key to continue and if you press the power key the other screen will get appears this phone is not running samsung official etc etc now let me show how to get rid of this warning screen we have to download the flashable file name splash screen changer by the developer here is the developer name and this is zip file we need to flash this file with the help of custom recovery now whatever custom recovery you have right now i have lean age os rom on my mobile phone so i got lean age recovery on my mobile phone so i will flash this splash screen file with the help of the lean age os recovery but if you have custom recovery simply boot the mobile phone into custom recovery copy this file into your internal storage on the mobile phone and then simply tap install select the file swipe to flash it and then reboot definitely you will see the warning screen will not get appears again as far you are using the same rom if you flash the stock from here or if you flash another custom rom it may ap appears again so i will boot my mobile phone into lean H O S recovery first of all i will power off the mobile phone and check the cable the other side must be connected with the computer connect the cable with the mobile phone when the mobile phone you see that it is power off so when the mobile phone start showing that it is getting charged then we have to boot the mobile phone into custom recovery for booting the mobile phone into custom recovery we have to press the power button the volume up key and the big speed key make sure that you have a custom recovery on your mobile phone volume up key big speed key and power key when mobile phone vibrates then release the power key first now wait do not release the volume up key and big speed key just wait for a few seconds now you can release both keys the mobile phone will boot into custom recovery well my screen is actually damaged i hope you can see this is the lean edge recovery on my mobile phone now uh, the the procedure of uh, flashing the, cust uh, the any custom rom or any flashable file with the help of the lean edge recovery we have to use the procedure of apply update the adb mode so i will tap the apply update here and then i will tap the apply from adb the phone will boot it into adb mode now i have to side load the particular file with the help of the command window i got already all the files that i requires to flash this file i will right click on cmd then i will left click on run as administrator click yes on next pop-up window the command window will get open now go to the uh, folder uh, and uh, select the file press f2 select the file name copy the file name from there then go back to your uh, command window and side load the file by giving the command adb space side load space then press ctrl v and then full stop or dot zip press enter key well in case if you see any signature screen on your recovery or on your mobile phone like currently i can see signature verification field install anyway yes i have to tap yes then the file is being flashed the mobile phone automatically restart i can disconnect the cable from the mobile phone and you can see that that warning screen is not appearing again 
I can close the command window and I am done from the computer. And this is how to get rid that warning screen. Simply the simple method, flash it with the help of custom recovery. Either you, if you have a TWRP or either if you have a lean age or any AOSP recovery. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.